Props and Locks on Fox 10 is brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. Make every moment more. Welcome to Props and Locks brought to you by FanDuel. I'm Richard Sines. This is it, the place to be for your sports betting needs. And we are not messing around for week 15. The Chiefs and Chargers get the ball rolling on Thursday Night Football. Great matchup. The lines and best prop bets for Thursday Night Football are on deck. But first, we check in with our main man, the Ben Stevens, host of The Morning After on Sports Grid. And Ben, this is the NFL, which can stand for not for long if you don't win in December. The Cardinals are looking for a big win in December and their first playoff berth since 2015. All they have to do is beat the lie downs. I mean, the Lions. Now, Ben, please tell me the cards cover and clinch a playoff spot. Look, I know, no DeAndre Hopkins, but from looking at the line, cards favored by 13, is it no problem? The over-under at 47. So what are we thinking? Cardinals win 38 to 10 in the Motor City? Well, Richard, the odds certainly indicate the Cardinals will clinch a playoff berth this week. Can they cover a 13-point spread? Well, Arizona is on the road, which is almost auto-play territory. The Cardinals 7-0 straight up away from home this year, a perfect 7-0 against the spread, covering by a ridiculous margin of 16.6 points per game, which means 13 points not out of the realm for the Arizona Cardinals this weekend. All right, we've got a good one for Sunday Night Football. Tom Brady and the Bucs looking to beat the Saints. It was New Orleans with the win in the first meeting between these two teams. That messed up my parlay that day. So Tampa minus 10 and a half this time around. Talk to me. I mean, listen, Tom has struggled in his time in Tampa against the New Orleans Saints. That being said, Tom Brady at home this year, a perfect 6-0, 5-1 against the number. And Richard, the Bucs have been booked as a double-digit favorite six times this year. You would think they're probably not covering in those games. They've covered five of those six games. There might be a shot of doing that again on Sunday night. Oh, wow. I did not know that. All right, good stuff. Okay, now if you can't wait till Sunday to make your bets, we've got some football on Saturday to save the day and talk about a good matchup here, the Colts and Patriots. And you've got Bill Belichick and the Patriots getting points for a second game in a row. New England plus two and a half. I got to admit, that's tempting, especially coming off a of bye week. Very, very tempting. Both of these teams, the Colts and the Pats, off of a bye week. But how are the New England Patriots an underdog right now? They have won seven straight games. They have covered in seven straight games. And as an underdog this year, the Patriots 3-1 and one against the spread, winning outright in all three of those covers. I don't know how the Patriots are getting points, Richard. Do you? Yeah, I don't know, but I'm going to take that. That's for sure, especially when you mention how well the Patriots are playing. Coming off a of bye week, you give the hoodie, the genius, some extra time to game plan for the Colts. That could be a pretty good bet, if you ask me. All right, much more coming up right after the break. Welcome back to Props and Locks, brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. All right, welcome back to Props and Locks. We are all so close to kick off for Thursday Night Football. The Chiefs are in L.A. looking to take care of the Chargers. These division games are always tough, right? But the Chiefs could be peaking at just the right time. Winners of six in a row. They are dialed in. Maybe that's why Kansas City is favored by a field goal, even though they are the road team. Now, when it comes to the Chargers, three of their five losses on the year are at home. What's going on there? So... Ben, what are you thinking? The home cooking not working for the Chargers this time around. I don't know. What do you think? The Chiefs, a three-point road favorite. KC has been a favorite in every single game this year, Richard. Not only have they won six straight, they have also covered in four straight, which is impressive for Kansas City, who has struggled at time covering numbers throughout the last couple of years in the NFL. But I also look at that total up to 53 and a hook right now in the FanDuel Sportsbook, up by four points from the opening line this week at 49 and a half. 11 of the last 14 NFL games on a Thursday have hit the under. Interesting to see a lofty total for a short week Thursday night football game. It's amazing how the Chiefs got off to a slow start this year. But these veteran teams, right, they know what to do. They know to crank it up in December. Looks like that's what the Chiefs are doing. Yeah, absolutely so. And how they have done it? Defense, the fifth best scoring defense now in the league and over the last five games Richard the opponents of the Chiefs only averaging 9.6 points per game defense has been the calling card for KC as of late and that's crazy because when you think of the Chiefs you don't think defense all right let's get to the props you've got Keenan Allen over 75 and a half receiving yards and his quarterback Justin Herbert with 
over 16 and a half rushing yards. You talked about that defense for the Chiefs. Is this because the Chargers will be playing catch up for most of the day? Because of course the Chiefs have a good offense and then that defense will be available to pin their ears back and get after Justin Herbert. A couple of missing pieces on that KC defense for Thursday night tonight, but with a total of 53 and a half, you have to expect points. Keenan Allen has gone over that number of 75 and a half in five of the last six games for Los Angeles, activated off the COVID-19 list. He has had a great connection with Justin Herbert, who can also utilize the legs over that number of 16 and a half rushing yards for the second year quarterback in four of the last five for LA. All right, two good quarterbacks in this one. All right, we're not done yet. We still got to get to the good stuff. It's Ben's Best bets of the week coming up after the break. Welcome back to Props and Locks, brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. All right, we are back on Props and Locks, and it's time for the Locks of the Week. I'm Richard Sines. He's Ben Stevens, also known as Big Ten Ben, and we start with Coastal Carolina. These guys can score in bunches. Is that why you have the over for total team points at 37 and a half? Richard, bowl season starts tomorrow in earnest across the college football landscape. Coastal Carolina team total overs. It's been one of my favorite plays all year long. The sixth best scoring offense in all of college football, averaging more than 39 points per game. Northern Illinois gives up more than 34, a bottom 30 scoring defense. Coastal Carolina team total over. I love it. You said it with such confidence. And when Northern Illinois loses, they've given up 40 points in all their losses. All right. When it comes hmm. to the Jets, it looks like they will be grounded. It's the under at 15 and a half when it comes to team total points. They're playing Miami and the Finns are on a roll with five straight wins. Yeah, and Miami's defense, really the reason why this five-game winning streak has been so good for the Dolphins, only allowing about 11 points per game during this five-game winning streak. The Jets, the fourth-worst scoring offense in the league, only averaging just about 17, a team total under for New York. This could be a surprise to some. You like the Jags giving up five points to the Texans, even though they've been a mess over there in Florida with Urban Meyer getting run out of town. It is my favorite bet of the week because Urban Meyer has been run out of town. I've been fade Urban Meyer all year long. Now I am back in the Jags. His team didn't like him. His assistant coaches certainly didn't like him. They are sending Urban Meyer kicking and screaming. This is a rally spot for Jacksonville. My favorite bet of the entire weekend, Richard. Yeah, sometimes when they make a big change like that, it it's a spark for the team. All right, mm -hmm. once again... Thank you so much for the valuable info. We are back next week with an all-new Props and Locks right before Thursday Night Football. And be sure to check your app for the latest lines. Enjoy the game and good luck, everybody. And all I ask.